Revelation 3312, from the 29th of October 1944. Faithful Congregation Faithfulness A believing congregation can be a great blessing in the midst of unbelievers, for if it lives out the word of God and God's promises are fulfilled in it, the believers will be a living example of Christ's teaching of love and at the same time proof of the truth of his word, by which even the unbelievers can come to faith if they are of good will. And this believing congregation is Christ's church through which his word is now spread, for anyone who lives by faith who fulfills the divine commandments, thus who takes Christ's teaching of love as the guiding principle of his life, will also try to persuade his fellow human being to do the same, he will hold the word of God up to him, he will preach love to him, he will try to strengthen his faith and try to incorporate him into Christ's church, the community of believers, in order to win his soul for the kingdom of God so he will work for the kingdom of God. And so a believing congregation can have a very beneficial effect and also prepare fellow human beings for the coming battle of faith. It can provide them with the evidence of the strength that lies in faith and the rich knowledge that a life of love brings to people, and thereby they will be encouraged to cultivate faith and love, and thereby strengthened and thus able to offer resistance if the battle of faith also approaches them. One person will have to lift himself up by another, and the believer will also muster the strength to be a support for the weak believers. And a believing congregation will stand up like a bulwark to the onslaught by the world, by faithless people. For the word of God imparts great power to believers. The divine will is proclaimed to people through the word of God, Christ's teaching of love is conveyed to them and anyone who fulfills God's will by living in love will also be permeated by the power of God, and the power of God is insurmountable, thus the believer can face the coming time without worry and also impart strength to those who join, who join the congregation in the will to do what is right before God. The believer does not lose his faith. For whatever spiritual knowledge he possesses which corresponds to the truth he will never give away, and this spiritual knowledge has also given him the deep faith which is now alive, that is, who does works of love, through which the human being's spiritual possessions increase more and more. Such faith will be unshakable and therefore also remain in the final battle. Many weak believers will be strengthened by it and unbelievers will change and come to faith because the strength of faith will be revealed when profound believers request it in order to prove to their fellow human beings that the word of God is truth and deserves fullest faith. Amen.